sector. The teachers, the work, ordinary workers, okay, because property prices have come up, government should uh, attract some kind of public-private partnership in that area for uh, that accommodation issue to be addressed. It appears the high expectations is turning into a feeling of despair and hopelessness. We have to do right by the people. We should not miss out of these two commodities, oil and gas. Everything must be carefully thought about and planned. All natural resources, whether it is on the earth surface, it is beneath, it is in the continental shelf, belong to the people of Ghana. Nigerians came to advise us that we should put an oil policy in place before anything happens. We never did. Uganda even discovered oil before we did that, but they have not started exploitation now because they want to put in the right mechanism, they want to put in the right legal and regulatory framework, they want to put in the necessary infrastructure. Ghana, it may seem, is headed for doom. Is Ghana going to catch the Dutch disease? Should Ghana have tackled this differently? So, what is the way forward? There are times we need to get together and have a consensus of opinion and have a direction that look, all of us together, this is the path we want to follow, where at least the oil finders concerned. We should look at that angle very seriously, the push and pull policy, where we can drag everybody along in our development program. We shouldn't cry over sports, we can put in the necessary mechanism now through very rigorous participatory stakeholder uh, engagement. Government must commit itself, the private sector must also commit itself, civil society and the media as well must also put pressure and join the advocacy that we put on these mechanisms to make sure that our oil resources will not be a case for us but rather be a blessing. But while Solomon thinks that no one should cry over spilt milk, Nana Kwabnan Ketia has a prayer. My daily prayer is for peace. I pray for peace every day because if we fight over these we don't know what conflict would generate whether there will be a Ghana one day it is important that policy makers look at this story with an open mind and follow the prescription of an economic journalist who has seen Ghana squander similar opportunities in times past we must learn the lessons that we learned with gold, cocoa, and other minerals, so that we use the revenue from oil and gas judiciously, prudently, and efficiently, so that we can improve the lot of many more.